those very solitary moments when you're walking on that yard or when you're just in the back of the day room and you just sit there by yourself and you just stare off and you think, you start to question, why am I here? I'm not a bad person. If only people understood the love that I have in my heart, the desire to live in an environment that's free of violence. These are the moments that no one ever sees. That yearning to be seen as a human being, how do you make that present and available for the folks in this room to see and understand? But I can tell you one thing's for certain, because you are special, your lives are important. Represent Justice has spent the last year reaching people across the country to get them more proximate to the experiences of system impact to people and the issues that they face. One thing was promised to me, I'll spend the next 20 years in prison. And all I could think about is like, how do I want to spend these next 20 years? As I was a lost individual, young, and people helped me find my way. And that's when I realized I had all these resentments and grudges and, and things I never dealt with that were holding me back from growing. And once I, I, I realized them and identified them, then I could work on them. We launched alongside the release of Warner Brothers' film, Just Mercy. Your life is still meaningful. The campaign used the concepts in Just Mercy to reach others to get them actually involved in this criminal justice reform movement. And told and amplified stories of hope and redemption. At 19, I did a 10-year sentence. And today, I'm a software engineer at Slack. Seeing other people's success story, how he was in the same situation as us. He got out, and now he's doing something with his life, and I know I could do the same as well as channeled the power of those stories into public demand for a fair legal system. When you have a story like Just Mercy, that's a real story that shows real problems, how can you not relate to that or see that's still something that's going on today in America? We discard or throw away or refuse to honor the humanity of those who are incarcerated. In the last year, Represent Justice programmed over 650 public engagement events with schools, nonprofits, lawmakers, and advocates, engaging more than 65,000 individuals across 40 states with a powerful message of justice reform. You guys are more than the worst thing you guys have ever done. What you do from now, moving forward, that's what your legacy is going to be. At the screenings, audiences got to witness Walter McMillan's journey to freedom and Brian Stevenson's heroic efforts to challenge excessive and unfair sentencing. We partnered with NBA teams for our Play for Justice initiative, and players from the Los Angeles Lakers, Sacramento Kings, Milwaukee Bucks, and Cleveland Cavaliers joined local lawmakers for a series of roundtable conversations at basketball games between currently incarcerated people and NBA teams. Yo, they got their Greek freak ones. It shine light on people that's incarcerated. Like, we not all animals. We all made bad choices, but this shouldn't determine what type of person we are. Being incarcerated, getting to get this opportunity is just a wonderful thing. And I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. I came in there when I was 29. Here I am, 56 years old. By the time I get back out, who gonna hire me? I think something really significant and important happens when you start seeing someone not just as a person but as a human being. I will be different after tonight, after looking you guys in the eye and understanding your story. I'm sorry. Mm, appreciate you. I don't know what the answer is, yeah. but we have to keep sharing the stories. We've been able to use these networks to build capacity within organizations who've been doing this work for years. Represent Justice has granted over $3 million to 25 partners to support their work for the long term. When COVID-19 hit, we knew incarcerated people would disproportionately bear the brunt of the virus. We donated more than 27,000 masks to seven detention facilities across the country. We also established an emergency COVID-19 relief fund and distributed $125,000 to dozens of local organizations working tirelessly to protect the health of currently and formerly incarcerated people. And over 3,000 people used our one-of-a-kind tool to simultaneously call, email, and tweet at their local sheriff and governors to ask for compassionate release measures. Represent Justice has centered the voices and leadership of system-impacted people. What justice means to me is forgiveness. Represent Justice changed my life. They treated my story as something very precious and valuable. Who better? Who better than someone that's failed in every crack that our system has made for people like me, brown and black people? They gave us platforms to just be ourselves and let people see us for who we actually are. We're proud of the work we've accomplished as a campaign in our first year, but it's only the tip of the iceberg. It's a critical time in the fight to change the system. And now, more than ever, it's so important to shift the narrative around incarceration. 
Join us as we celebrate the last year and be a part of the movement as we go on to do even more incredible things.